Hello everyone, this is Female Skills Empowerment TV, the subsidiary of Female Skills Empowerment and Entrepreneurship Academy, which is the best place to acquire any skill of your choice. On this channel, we share a whole lot of well-detailed training videos on household cleaning products, beauty products, and hair care product making. Okay, and in case you're new to this channel, you're highly welcome. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and also click on the bell icon to be the first to get notifications whenever I post new videos. And to my returning subscribers, thank you so very much for always coming back. In today's video, I'll be making a high quality liquid antiseptic popularly known as Detol, 100% chemically formulated. Actually, there are two types of liquid antiseptic, the water-based and the spirit-based liquid antiseptic, which is the high quality liquid antiseptic. So in this video, I want to practically show you how to make a high quality liquid antiseptic. You can do this for personal use and you can also do it for commercial purpose. Okay. This very type of liquid antiseptic is the best. It's very, very effective. It kills about 99.9% .9 of germs and bacteria. So stay tuned for today's class. Hello, you're welcome back to class. As earlier said, there are two types of liquid antiseptic. The low quality liquid antiseptic, which is water-based, and the high quality liquid antiseptic, which is the spirit-based liquid antiseptic. Okay, this type of antiseptic kills about 99.9% .9 of germs. So in this video, now I want to practically show you how to produce high quality liquid antiseptic 100% chemically formulated so I'll be making a liter of liquid antiseptic with me here are my equipments and the chemicals for today's production over here I have texapone, chlorozynol, pine oil, color which is optional I have isopropyl alcohol okay this is my pine oil. In today's production, I will be using 150 ml of pine oil, 100 ml of chlorozynol, 700 ml of isopropyl alcohol, color, and lastly, I will be using 50 ml of texapone. Okay, this is my texapone. It is jelly in nature. Now, the first thing to do, I'll go ahead and pour the pine oil into my mixing bowl and followed by the texapone. I'll ensure that the texapone is completely dissolved in the pine oil before adding any other chemical. So kindly watch the video and follow every step. it for a while for the texapone to be completely melted go ahead and add the chlorozynol so in goes my chlorozynol chlorozynol is actually a very strong you know antiseptic agent in the production of detol so it's very very important in this production as you can see chemical reaction has taken place So I'll go ahead and measure out 700 ml of 
isopropyl alcohol and add to the mixture Wow, this is nice. At this point, you can choose not to add the color. So, color is it is a personal choice. It has nothing to do with the effectiveness of the antiseptic. So, it's a personal choice. You can choose not to add color, and you can also choose to add color. But I would advise, if it is for commercial purpose, you have to be very careful of the color, the quantity of color to use. So at this stage, my liquid antiseptic is ready. This is exactly one liter of liquid antiseptic, 100% chemically formulated, no water added. This is nice. So I'll go ahead and, you know, do the packaging. So this is what it looks like. This is how it's going to be after the packaging process. This is really nice. As Elia said, you can choose not to add any color. The color, you know, has nothing to do with the effectiveness of the antiseptic or the data it's just a personal choice the most important thing is that this formulation kills 99.9 percent .9 of germs when used okay so the color, you know, does not really matter. And the only way to know if Dettol is original or it is 100% chemically formulated is to test it in water. An original Dettol must have this whitish coloration when it comes in contact with water. Can you see? So the originality of Dettol or any good liquid antiseptic is shown when it comes in contact with water. So with this, we have come to the end of today's production of liquid antiseptic popularly known as data until i come your way again with other interesting video thanks for being part of today's class and bye for now <music>